Hi, my name is Patrick Desjordans. In this video, you will understand how we will proceed in this entire course. I will give you two options to get started with TypeScript. The first one that does not require you to install anything. A second one that require you to install a specific application on your machine. To get started, you will need to find a place to execute code. It has been proven that practicing helps to get the theory into your long-term memory by active practicing. It is up to you if you want to only listen, but I strongly suggest that you type the example I am demonstrating and also perform the exercises that I will provide in the description of most of the upcoming episodes. The first way will be to work on the TypeScript Playground. The Playground is part of the official TypeScript website and gives you half a screen to write code and see the result on the other half. The advantage is for this course that you can try coding without having to worry about installing anything on your machine. It has the advantage that you can perform the exercises anywhere and on multiple machines like your personal laptop on your company computer. The disadvantage is that sometimes we will tweak configuration of TypeScript and we will be limited with the online portal. Also, the TypeScript playground does not let you have many files, hence cannot explore ideas around importing and exporting files. Finally, the playground does not let you to save your code as easy as having your own repository of practice files. The second way is to download and install Visual Studio. It is a free software that is well suited for TypeScript as it has been built with TypeScript and used by the TypeScript team and as TypeScript installed it with it. It also allows step-by-step -step debugging, which is often the best way to understand issues or how something works. If you decide to borrow the route of Visual Studio code, you are in luck because that path will have a couple of videos about how to download, install, and debug. If you have experience in development, you can also use many other tools. TypeScript is not bound to any code editor. You can actually use Vim or Notepad. The advantage of a richer code editor is that you will get the possibility of having the code editor communicate during the development with TypeScript to highlight issues directly in the code, which is not possible with Microsoft Notepad. I encourage you to check out exi your existing preferred code editor. So here we are again, we are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to go left or are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path because it is your path. Would you like to learn about TypeScript's playground or to be guided with Visual Studio Code? Regardless of your choice, it was the right one because it was your choice. See you soon.